Yo, what is going on guys? Virtual Stealth here. And today the gameplay is irre irrelevant, so I won't even go over my class setup or the map or anything. Uh, it's just quick game. doesn't really matter. Average game. I don't even care about the score. Uh, they, that's all I got to say about it. Basically, it's Modern Warfare 3. Whatever. Deal with it. Um, so today what we're going to talk about is Black Ops 2. Um, there's been some new information. Well, technically it's old information now. It's been about at least a week since uh, this has been mentioned on a on several videos. Uh, for right now, it's all speculation. No one really knows what what's uh, what's the real truth and all that stuff. Um, so basically, what happened is that uh, the, we think there is a new class. Uh, creator class basically and with that creator class you get 10 points and you you're not you're not like held back to just choosing three perks you don't have to choose a secondary you don't have to choose a grenade you don't have to choose a lethal uh, tactical you don't have to choose any any of that so what I think is going to happen is that <clears throat> you won't be able to choose two primaries and that each primary is going to cost different points uh, as of now I haven't heard of anyone think about like say this is again this is just my opinion I don't know anything about this uh, but people have been saying okay let's just say primary weapons are worth three points whatever um, but one thing that I haven't seen someone think about yet is what if they use that point system to combat uh, people from using the same gun. For example, let's say if this was Modern Warfare 3 and they chose a 10 point system. Let's say uh, PM9 worth 3 points, MP7 worth 5 points, ACR worth 5 points, uh, MP5 worth 4 points, uh, CM901, whatever the fuck those last couple numbers are. Uh, worth four points you know what if they had it like that what if they had it so they ranked the guns to statistically the best and they have like that way they they're worth different points they have different categories they're not labeled anymore as some machine guns or shotguns or uh, assault rifles I think that's the best way to do it because when you label a gun as an assault rifle, it automatically ties you down, ties down the developer to certain base stats. If you haven't noticed, uh, assault rifles basically have the same amount of base damage, the the same, the similar amount of uh, reload time, similar amount of basically everything. So with that, I think they're going to be able to create guns that are that just completely balanced not like in uh, other games where assault rifles basically rule the whole fucking game and you can't say oh no assault machine guns no screw you I've been using submachine guns since Call, since Call of Duty 4 I know submachine guns better than anybody else uh, well most of the people that are on YouTube because if you haven't noticed most of the people that are on YouTube use assault rifles it doesn't matter what type of assault rifle but they use those assault rifles because they want to uh, go 50 and 0, 50 and whatever. It doesn't really matter. I don't really care. I'm, I don't know why I'm talking about that. So let's say uh, the overused weapons cost like 4 points, maybe 5 points. That leaves you off with, uh, with 5 points left. Let's say if you choose ACR. Alright, you're going to have, assuming it's just like Black Ops. They're going to have the tactical, lethal, and I don't know what the third slot is. The one with the claymores and camera spikes and all that. So, let's assume that they have that. Uh, let's assume they have those three. So, that means you're going to have to sacrifice something. Because you won't have enough points to get three perks and the three equipment. Let's just say that they're all worth one point. And then another thing that... We haven't really thought about is kill streaks. Our kill streaks only cost you points, um, so that's basically it. That's 
those are some of the questions I'm going to leave you guys off with. Do you think kill streaks are going to be worth any points? Do you think we're going to have to assign them with our 10 point system? Uh, let me know in the comment section below, and I'm out.